wickedly beautiful day out here. The fall, uh, it's not even in the air, it's just fall. It's beautiful. Lost a lot of leaves, getting ready to do the things that we like to do in the fall out here. One of them is cutting wood, of course. And I gotta show you guys something pretty cool. Okay, so I've got this. This isn't really a comparison by any means, um, because there are two different cc of saw. That's a Husky 390 XP that I've had for, geez, what, about five years? And uh, I think it's about 89 cc's in that area. It, this has worked very hard, this saw. We've run it on our sawmill, our, uh, our uh, Grandberg, our Alaskan mill. Uh, and every time we start it, it runs pretty much wide open for a whole day. And I don't know how many days we've run this saw, but it's been actually flawless. I've never had to tune it up. Um, it's spent a whole winter outside under a snowbank. I didn't even know where it was. Picked it up and it started. It's a powerful beast. It's got a 37 inch bar on it. And, and it's one of my favorite saws. I've got, what, four steels? Yeah. This Husky, two Echoes. The Echoes are great saws. They're a little heavy, but they're uh, reasonably priced. Usually I find with um, uh, the more you spend on a saw, the lighter they are for the CC you get, right? So the Echoes, they're very well built, uh, but they were, and they were great, you know, uh, no complaints about the Echoes. Love my Husky. Uh, the Steels, still steel. I've, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I've, I've tried, I've tried. Uh, I, I, I like them sometimes. Uh, at the start of the day, they start kind of okay, but when they're hot, they don't start so well. Um, and it, there's a lot of Mickey Mouse and around. Now this is older technology, of course. The steels, they have their, I don't know. You can't adjust the carburetors. They have a little electric. What is it? A little Mtronic. Eh? M Mtronic. Yeah, the, the new ones are Mtronic, so I don't know. Maybe that's part of the issue, but uh, it's kind of hit and miss, and I always run and grab this baby. But this guy online, uh, Jerry, he contacted me. He said, Louie, I see you use a chainsaw a lot. Why don't you check out what I'm doing? I'm building these, uh, these Chinese knockoffs uh, are very close to the original and uh, I replace everything with uh, good good parts good quality bearings and whatnot the things that need to be replaced that are kind of not so good Chinese he gets rid of them so he replaces them with those and I got it right here so check this out well this is the saw Let's see, huh? it's actually very close to the 390. This is a 372. I'm sure a lot of these parts are totally interchangeable. You can tell that there are some differences. The, the quality of, of the plastic seems a little different, but you know, I don't really know if it is. Like I, it's actually quite incredible how close this is to the real thing, right? Like everything looks bang on. This is where it's kind of off a little bit, just with the way this is sort of uh, crushed. It. But I don't know, I, he shipped it to me. I took it out of the box, two poles, it was running. It's a little boggy at the start till it just gets warmed up for about 30 seconds or whatever, and then it's, uh, then it rocks. But I was just gonna do a quick little cut test and uh, compare these two saws. Now, of course, more CCs, the real McCoy, you know, uh, it's obviously going to cut a little faster than this, but, you know, for the money that you can put into these, I don't know, it might work out just right. I guess the only way to tell is to use it for a couple years and then I'll report back on it. I'll abuse it like I abuse this one and we'll see how uh, it turns out, right? So, let's do it. So which one do you want to try first, Kai? Which one should I use? Doesn't matter.
uh, because we do cut a lot of big trees and uh, this is very handy. Sometimes it's not quite long enough, but 37 usually gets the job done. Let's try this. I haven't started this yet, yet today. shorter briar on it of course so you can keep up your revs but Jeez, Thank you very much, bud. That uh, that works out great. Of course, Jerry didn't give it to me. He looked after me though. Uh, didn't charge me for his time. Wanted to see what I thought of this. Wow. She's a ripper. I'll have to check out the RPM. Make sure everything's running good. He uh, is in the states. We're here in Canada, so there might be a little elevation difference. I'm not quite sure, but it seems to wind out pretty good, eh, bud? I was going to buy. I was gonna buy a 372. I wanted to find an older one that was all carved out and didn't have the uh, any kind of emissions nonsense on it. Um, and then Jerry came along and said, "Look, you gotta try these things, man. It's, it's a bit of a no-brainer. The, like, for the, the cost of it, it's right on. That's a brand new chain on there, by the way, so it hasn't cut before. That one has cut a little bit but there's a lot more teeth on it. Yeah. How does it look underneath here? Still got the uh, oil adjustment on it. Let's see if I can... Man, oh man, she's pretty much the same. Hey. This is one of the saws that my buddy uses all the time in the bush, and it's actually not, as, not that heavy. 390 is a little is a little heavier, of course, but it's got the big bar on. I used to think that was a big saw until I got the I got the steel 880 for slabbing. Um, it really rocks, but there's you know there's kind of issues with that a too, but it's not really built for slabbing. You kind of have to change out your do some filter mods on it and whatnot. They're dealing with emissions issues as well, so you, you can get more power out of it, but it's too bad you can't just use it out of the box like that. with that. 
I'm pretty impressed with it. You know, for the diehard comparison guys, you, can you compare a 372 to a 390? Not really. Uh, but can you compare a North American made or a um, or a Husky to a Chinese model? I guess you can. Especially if they copy it part for part. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it, what would a 372 cost here? 800 bucks, thousand bucks? I think so. Probably close to that. A bit of an option, bit of an alternative. The other alternative is uh, to go with an Echo. You know, I don't mind Echoes at all. You uh, purists out there, you might not like them, but uh, I know a lot of job sites where guys run those things and they keep going back to them because they're they're priced right and they're tough as nails. But I'm not going to discount my Husky. I love my Huskies and, you know, I'll probably go back to Huskies for our main saws. I don't want to upset any of you steel guys, but I don't know. They don't always treat me so well. Maybe it's because of the way I treat them. But thanks for watching. I know there hasn't been a video out in a long time because we've been doing a lot. Hey, bud. I've been working him, working my son real hard, and we've been doing a lot around here. And getting ready for the hunting season, of course, and uh, getting ready for winter because there's going to be snow on the ground here soon, and we have to have everything tidied up. So we've got to go do some more work now. Let's go get it done. Yeah.